What's up guys? It's John from Cars and Cameras out here on the Bonneville Salt Flats. We're out here trying to break some speed records on a mini bike. Mini Mayhem is coming up October 25, 26, and 27th of 2024. So we can't wait to see you there, but let's check out what happened last time. Mini Mayhem, a Cars and Cameras event at Busco Beach. For three days and two nights, it's complete mayhem on mini bikes, go-karts, and pal jacks. I only had 24 hours though. Well, let me rewind a bit to Fridays. So sometimes I get asked about the camera gear that I use. I typically carry a lot of camera gear, but I'm traveling solo this time, so I'm packing light. I'll be bringing my DJI Pocket 3, which is great for smooth shots while riding. This tiny machine has a three axis gimbal that keeps shots nice and level while maneuvering around on any vehicle. And as for an action camera, I use my Action 4 with a magnetic pendant that I wear around my neck for behind the scenes. It works great for any shots when you want to have both hands free to ride or to take photos. Let's get packed up. I arrived Friday night plenty going on and got to meet a few new people. Hung out with the usual suspects, of course, and talked to them about what they brought this time around. Where are we at? What are we doing? Uh, so we're Mini Mayhem 2024 May Edition. We are out here having a blast, ripping around go-karts, mini bikes, uh, obviously cross carts if you know KJ Racing. What's going on? Hey! How's it going? Bernie made it! Yeah, yeah. How was got the here. Trip? It's cool. Let's get done. What's up, Bernie? What up? What up? All right, so this is. Yeah. All right, so this is uh, the Coleman CT200. Uh, Thomas let me borrow it. He wanted me to uh, give it a paint job, so I decided to give it a camo paint job. Uh, I got some ammo cans from work. You know, I figured I'd go a little military theme with it. I yeah. It, I call it old grunt. You guys, what else you guys bring? I brought the cross car. You know, always got to bring it. Uh, I built this up too. So I did both of these in like the two weeks leading up to this. It's a Murray Explorer. It's, it's been abandoned for like the last five years. I took the engine off the cooler cart that we had. It's a Predator 420. Uh, it's got a 40 series from Go Power Sports. It's pretty basic right now. I just wanted to get it up and running for this event. Right. And start yeah. doing this stuff with us. Uh, yeah. So my, this is my son, though. He's 12. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm Tyler. My dad, Mike. Hey, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing good. You what got a little here? something on your face. It's oh, a little dirt so? right here. Oh, yeah? Go tell him. <laughs> dark fairly quickly and it wouldn't be a mini mayhem without having to weld on a peg right before the night rides. Shouts out to Isaac for hooking it up. by the fire and called it a night. I know. <laughs> I did it so I could get you reacting that way for camera. Morning. Rained a little last night, not too much. Got the ground a little wet. People are starting to get up and ride around, so let's go check it out. Well, at least he's got a muffler. That was like a, a super hero in training. Yeah, yeah. How's my hair? Missed it. Dang, you brought it out. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. It made it. Thanks for Mark for sending me the parts, getting them out just in time. Yeah. Here it is. I even got a kickstand on it, so. You know, a real, real mini bike's got kickstands. Yeah, where are we at? Where are we so, we are at Busco Beach Mini Mayhem 2024 Spring Edition. I just brought out the uh, the new Rascal GT that they that Go Power Sports sent me. Love this bike, love the look. Everyone's reaction is pretty good on it. Now I'm really looking forward to try and test this thing out. The, uh, the dirt drag strip isn't really ready for what we brought, but we'll, fi we'll find a spot to run it. Because right now it's more of a, a bunch of mini jumps. Yeah, there's whoop, there's whoops at the big end, and on the uh, Super Hog chassis that I have, the, with you know the old chassis this engine was on, I caught air at the top end, and I just it, it scared me. I don't want I don't want to jump this one at 70 miles an hour or something. So. going on with the scavenger we just hid like 15 bags and we tell people like go out and find them and bring them back to the over here and you get like art stuff we found one nice awesome yeah there are a couple people have walked up with these bags already here we go. so you found a bag there's some that we uh put out pretty obvious yeah but then there's others that are going to be pretty hard to find nice so if you find an orange bag, you get one of every sticker. So we're different this year. Yeah, a lot of stickers coming at you. Uh, yeah, dude. Hey, take video. a little gear in there. Uh, yeah. That's yours to keep. That's yours. To keep. Oh, can you can you hold that up? Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. Awesome. You said there was like a black bag or a brown bag? Yeah, there are 10 black bags out there too. So those are redeemable for any, anything of your choosing. Oh, any 10 black bags. Gotta look for that <laughs> He's going to come back with 10 black He's bags. He's going to come back with 10 like, give me everything. <laughs> oh, five. There are only five. Brand new Trailmaster. And you said you just grabbed this from Go Power Sports? You just ordered it? Yeah, I've had it for, I guess, about a month. That's a good place to test it out. Yeah. Mm. How'd you learn about the Trailmaster? Probably you guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're Randall Camp Customs. We're at Busco Beach for Mini Mayhem. Played the greatest party you'll ever see for the Mini Bike World for the year. We brought a couple with us this time. We got our built dingo that unfortunately kind of stopped on us when we got here. <laughs> uh, it's over here. We brought the Warrior that we actually picked up from Cars and Cameras. This is the custom-made scooter. Uh, we bent this all up and built it from scratch. So this thing's fun. It's slow, but it's fun. It's light, it's light enough it can go anywhere, and if you get stuck, you can pick it up and yeah. move it around. Yeah, that's what's always great about the scooter. Oh, yeah. So you got this. This is the same one that you were uh, doing the, the pull with last year. Yes, yes. Uh, we actually brought the chair, too. This thing, it's... Uh, Billet rod, billet flywheel. Uh, this motor has been in like three different builds. Yeah, we haven't been nice to this motor at all. We had some carb issues, so we kind of just let it sit because we didn't want to work on stuff all weekend. So we've been just ripping around on the Warrior, and I got my Trailmaster here. We've been beating around on that. We got our two Trailmasters over here. We got a pretty much bone stock. I think this is called a second gen. It's got the disc brakes in the back. Yeah, everything is stock, and this is fully custom. I want to say that's a, a PW80 tank okay. that we put on there. We've got taller shocks, custom exhaust, dirt bike plastics, as he said. Yeah, stuff for your candy. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Keep extra tools in there. Put the rear wheel on the front, so we've got front and rear brakes, which helps out a lot, considering how fast this one will go. So, uh, where can people find you, like as far as social media goes? That'll be Rattle Can Customs 2018 on YouTube. I just want to say thank y'all for coming and I'd like to point out that if y'all are riding mini bikes you need to have a helmet on and uh, this is a five mile per hour zone so please try to keep it at least close to five. All right, so thank you everyone for coming out to Mini Mayhem. It's going to be a great day. We got some great weather as long as it doesn't start dumping on us. Uh, so this morning we have the wake up ride, which is an easy, more or less parade lap. We're going to drive around to the uh, the front office because the new owners of Busco Beach are really into what we're doing. They're going to take some photos for their social media, which is great. Uh, let's see, we're going to have a lunch break. Uh, the duo ride at 1 p.m. where half of us are going to line up on two wheel machines over here. 
and the other half with three and four wheel machines over here. Uh, just for uh, Hey everyone, this is Alex and I'm the live event coordinator for Cars and Cameras. I met John and Isaac out of pure coincidence actually. I was traveling from Virginia to Texas and was invited by the Go Power Sports guys to stop in and show them an MV200 I was working on. John and Ike were there and working on a couple of projects on their own. They took the time to chat with me for a bit. Fast forward five months and I'm at my first Mini Mayhem event. Let me tell you, it was some of the most fun I've had in a weekend. The dust, the noise, the smell of the garage tuned small block exhaust. It was everything I had imagined while watching the coverage videos of the channel. I had to have more, and I wanted to contribute more. So I started bouncing ideas off of John for future events. He and I started making tweaks to the formula with the goal of a more interactive and more inclusive event. After a year, John pretty much gave me the green light to run with it. I gotta say, the fans have been great. They are what made it grow into what it is today. Through the Mini Mayhem Facebook group, I've been able to talk directly with people about what they like and what they'd like to see happen next. Because of that, we've been able to add a few events, like a venue-wide scavenger hunt, a machine show where people get to vote on their favorite machines at the event, and a more advanced group ride we're calling the Shakedown. Classic events are returning, like the drag strip takeover and the big group rides. Ike is gonna continue his traditional beanies and weenies cook on a massive scale. It's also exciting to see come together, and my favorite part will always be the fans. I know that sounds a little cliche, but hear me out. I can go riding those same shows on my own. I can hit the drag strip, I can get muddy, I can follow the event schedule for a weekend. It's not until you get one or two hundred excited people out there that you realize what it's all about. Mini Mayhem is what it is because of the people. One day, I hope to see Mini Mayhem become a countrywide event. I want a guest book with 10,000 names in it. I want everyone that's heard of the event to experience it with the same excitement I did when I first attended. It may be ambitious, but Mini Mayhem has shown me that ambition adds up to so much. I hope to see you all out there. Yeah, where, are we, where are we headed off to? Dude, we are headed to the drag strip. And it's, uh, it's, 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 it's test and tune time. Yeah, yeah. sketchy runs you know we had to get one more in which may or may not have been a mistake It ain't. But How are I'm you glad, feeling? I'm glad I'm okay. The only casualty is the handlebar and the motor shifted so the chain popped off. Okay. But we're going to go fix that at camp. I don't know if we're going to get the handlebars right, but yeah. I know where to get a new set. Right. So yeah. hey, thank you all for being out here. I'm so glad I'm out by myself. Right. How are you feeling? Now? I'm okay. Like the, the, the right here hurts the worst. Okay. So,
For those that don't know, what is that? That is a VF1 cross part. Home built in a garage. Too big of an engine in it. What is in it? It's a 1994 ZX11. So it's got 145 horsepower and it weighs about 800 pounds total the whole cart. Even after you turned off the cart, you were still shaking. Yeah, yeah. It, my adrenaline was so high, I was just shaking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, I, I didn't even get out of second gear. Oh, wow. It's geared to do like 160 miles an hour. I don't think I'll do that though. I know who built it. I built it. I don't know if I trust myself. So yeah, are, are you ever gonna throw street tires on anything? Or? I think I will. So Kyle from KJ Racing, he actually designed the plans for it. I'm gonna be close to him in the, uh, upcoming summer, and so he goes to a racetrack up there. So we're gonna finish mine up there, and maybe we'll throw some street tires on it and hit a road course. So what do we have here? So this started as a Troy built lawnmower. Lawnmower. It was given to me. Uh, from my cousin, it was free, and he was trying to get it out of his yard, and it actually was a working lawnmower. Uh, did he give it to you with the intention of it, you keeping a lawnmower, or did he know you were gonna? So actually, my wife was like, you need to double check with him before you start chopping this thing up. Yeah, I want it back. Yeah, <laughs> so I double checked, and I was like, I'm gonna chop it up, and it's not gonna work like a mower anymore, and he was okay with it. Nice. So what I did is I, uh, I chopped the front of the frame, and I'm using Raptor 660 A arms. Basically, I took the like the information I learned building my cross cart, and I kind of applied it to a smaller scale. This thing was pieced together pretty much with just stuff I had laying around. I put very little money into it. I got some tires and a couple like lines and fuel lines here and there. Everything is pretty much from another project that I wasn't using anymore. So we made it full suspension, independent suspension. We built a swing arm for the rear uh, with a jack shaft, which is actually from Go Power Sports. Uh, you guys were the only ones that had one long enough right. for a three quarter inch. The whole purpose was to make it still look like a mower with the suspension without, you know, chopping the hood, you know, really taking away the look of it. I'm, oh, that's loud. I'm using the existing key, the existing choke, you know, and so it was just really the purpose was to have fun off-road, like a place like out here at Busco. My first mini mayhem I came to in 2021, uh, we just kind of winged it and Scott was like, hey, cars and cameras have this event and it's only three hours from us. And so we came and we were driving up and I was like, oh man, KJ Racing's here. And Scott's like, who's that? He's like, what's a cross car? And now we both have one and they were from his plans of his channel that I had followed for a while. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself and then your YouTube channel. And uh... So I'm Kyle from KJ Racing. Uh, I, in my spare time, designed and built uh, a cross cart that uses common ATV parts or motorcycle parts or whatever parts you can get your hands on. Uh, just a, a universal frame, if you will. Right. Yeah. Are you about to take this up? I am. I, am I not doing uh, demo laps? Am I not doing demo laps for you guys? I was just chaperoning my dad around. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. That's, yeah. that's why I wanted you to drive it so you could drive with your dad. Heck yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Am I good to go? You're good to go. Sweet. It's warmed up. I I warmed up a little bit. It's your temp, 128, so, so it should be warm. Go. Yeah. Awesome. I'll walk you out. You got it? Oh, you got two, and that's the one that John made. Yeah, so four YouTubes collaborated to make that one, and we made it in four days. It was so fun. So uh, where can people find you, your your cart, your, your YouTube, uh, and, and, and any, any way that it's like, hey, I need to get a hold of Kyle because I want to do this. So KJ Racing uh, says it all. Uh, I made a website. Uh, and in that website are links to everything. The YouTube channel is KJ Racing. The Instagram is KJ Racing. And it is racing with a Y. K-J-R-A-Y-C-I-N-G. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.
What do we got going on over here? So it's Saturday afternoon at Mini Mayhem. It's time for the machine show. Basically, everyone who wants to enter lines up their projects along this pond. They get a wristband and a ticket, and they fill out their favorite build on the ticket. And the uh, build with the most votes wins. One of our custom-made trophies. It could be a tractor. It could be a flat cart. It could be a pallet jack. It could be a pallet jack. That's what it's all about. And it's, it's cool to see what people do with the same stuff. Everyone's got metal, a welder, wheels, and an engine. Yep. The variety is crazy. Like that two-wheel, the four-wheel motorcycle. I've seen that. That's cool. Yeah, it's like that little Batmobile or Bat bicycle they had in Dark Dark Knight. Right. Oh, wow. You gotta get a video of it. That's awesome. The machine show was a great time to grab a few photos and listen to stories of different builds and just get to know the people coming to Mini Mayhem. And of course, we waited patiently for Isaac's Beanie Wings. I was watching, they're about to walk over. Oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah. I need the mask. What? It happens, man. At Busco, it does. It's mini mayhem. Yep, things happen. But it was always great to see people help each other out with an assortment of issues that came up. Music and drugs is the same that I'm using. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. How many of y'all have gotten hurt? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Hey, sir. Can I get a yeah? yeah. Let's get a round of applause for Isaac, Alex, and James with a beanie weenie. Feeding the people. This was my second mini mayhem. Some of these builds I saw last time, but there were plenty that I didn't. And like Alex said, even with all these crazy builds, all the great rides, you're really not here for that. Last ride of the day, we got one or two in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Getting to cruise, joke with, and learning all of these new people is what makes Mini Mayhem, Mini Mayhem. It was getting late, and I had time for one more ride out with all the new homies. It was a crazy 24 hours, and I had a blast. Time to head back to the airport. See y'all at the next one.